I'm going to try something I haven't tried in years. I'm going to try talking underwater. This will be my first time since the 1970s at trying this technique. I'll explain it here. Okay, it's time to get wet. You can see the line that's going to my float, and I'm about ready to head underwater here. As we go underwater, you'll see a lot of green on the rock. That's freshwater sponge. Now, initially, the current is actually taking me upstream because there's a little island that divides this river right now. The river is at the lowest level that it's been in years and years. So I'm swimming across the river, and then I'll turn to my right. Now I'm wearing a DX overpressure breathing double hose regulator with my twin uh, 45 tanks. The tanks are uh, with a Sherwood manifold, and it has on it a second regulator, which uh, gives me a power inflator and my computer and uh, my safe second regulator, which is Scuba Pro Air One. As I approach the rapids, I'm coming to um, a post here. This is the tree that's been there for a number of years that I use as one of my markers. Beyond this tree, there's a rapid that goes over my head, and I'm under, uh, under on a cross current, which is going at 90 degrees to the rapids current. This is one of the interesting things about rivers. Now I'm finding an area where I can do this little experiment and I'm taking the camera off and putting it in front of me. I'm going to try the experiment and what I find out is that I'm too buoyant. So I clear the hose again and then I've got to dump some air out of my BC. Finally. I'm ready for the experiment again. You may have to turn up the volume to hear this. Okay, now in order to talk, I have to bring the mask down under my mouth. This works pretty well. After that, I need to clear my my uh, hoses. The, the problem is that uh, the right hose floods, and so uh, it's important to get that water out. That's why I turned, and then I got to clear my mask because a little bit of water came up into my mask. I had a really good dive. There's freshwater sponge all over the rocks, and this freshwater sponge grows in colonies. Here you can see one of the colonies. 
and you can see that the sponge is breaking up. This is because it's September now in the fall and it's preparing for winter. It's going to disintegrate soon. Good dive.